Hey everybody, Jillian here for day 11 of Gratitude Documented and the prompt for today is growth. So I've got my prompt list, some notes, and my memory decks box here because we're going to make another memory decks card. So I pulled some supplies that I pretty much figured I wanted to use, including these two patterned papers that are from the Illustrated Faith Print and Pray Shop. These are from Brave Little Taylor's Thankful Thoughts collection and then I pulled some pieces from the cray paper lines that I've been using throughout this project uh, that kind of coordinate with these papers and then some pieces from the gratitude documented kit. So I started by trimming my card down. Um, I just kind of freehand cut it so it's a little wonky <laughs> and then run that through my memory decks hole punch so I can get those holes on the bottom so it'll slide on the rails. Now the thankful for cards that I've been using, or rather these little sticky notes, are larger than the memory decks card. So I trim them down a little bit, I tape them to a piece of cardstock, and I run that through my typewriter so that I can type on it. Um, of course you could always hand write on it too. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out which pieces I want to use on my card. These elements are pretty large, and I knew I absolutely wanted to use this gold foil ampersand. So I'm kind of mm, like putting other things on here and it, they're just too large. So this is what I'm going to end up using. A ticket from one of the crepe paper ephemera packs, the growth like die cut prompt, and then a leaf from the illustrated faith kit. I wanted to go with a white one for this project uh, so it kind of like popped on the dark paper and behind the gold. And then I knew I wanted to add some patterned paper behind the ampersand and then kind of sandwich some dimensional adhesive in there. So I got a new roll. It's huge and it totally unraveled as I was trying to show it to you here. Um, it's from Hobby Lobby and I don't love it. It's like their store brand, but it's all I could find in a pinch. I thought about maybe using a tag from a crepe paper instead to back it, but then thought, no, I definitely want to use this Brave Little Taylor patterned paper. So these are kind of like the inverse colors of the paper that I'm using for the actual card. So I put some foam adhesive on there and then I'm now looking to see like what part of the patterned paper I want to show through the ampersand cut space there. <laughs> and then I went ahead and peeled the um, release paper from the foam adhesive so that it was sticky and then kind of sandwiched it in there like I mentioned. I added a little bit of foam, of foam adhesive at the top of this leaf so that it would kind of pop off the card. I've been really enjoying using dimensional items for um, these memory decks cards. And then I'm just going to layer up these pieces on top of this card and there we go. Looks pretty good. Good enough for me at least. So then I'm going to turn my attention to the back. I don't love that I can see all of this like scrap white paper hanging off of the top edge of the card. So I'm looking here to see what I can cover it with. Uh, the good thing about the illustrated faith leaves is that they're kind of like duplicates but just in different colors. So I decided to grab kind of like the bluish color leaf just to adhere directly on top of the card to cover the white back side of that other one. I ran my um, little paper there through the typewriter and have my journaling on there and when it went ahead and adhered that and then realized that the Studio Calico Mega Date stamp that I had been using was going to be a little bit too large for this. So I'm going to use my mini or rather regular size date stamp for this and then go ahead and uh, finish off the card. I've been really enjoying using these bits and bobs numbers that Vanessa did for the print and pray shop and I couldn't fit it onto the front, at least not in the way that I liked. So I'm going to add it to the back here, kind of switch things up. And then I'm just going to use a scrap of Taylor's patterned paper to cover this like weird white scrap paper hanging off the top. So I'm just going to glue it down and then I got the bright idea to add some string, like to wrap some string around it since it was going to be adhered to the back side of this gold foil card. And at this point in the video, I just, it's just started to go downhill. It turned out really cute, but the process was not cute. I got a little frustrated because although my finger is healing, I don't know if you guys have noticed I have a bandage on my finger because I injured it. Although it's healing really quickly, it's only good for crafting for so long. So my finger was hurting and I was just over it at this point. I selected um, this format because it was going to be on the simple side and this one was way more involved than I expected that it would be. But anyway, just wanted to prepare you and let you know that it gets a little hairy here. 
I went ahead and looked through some older kit elements that I had and knew that I had this fabric banner from the wholehearted devotional kit left over and this pink was a great match. So I went ahead and added it here to the top right of this little card and then used my tiny attacher to staple it on there. So here's what I decided to do. I decided to take this black and white twine that I had used earlier this month and kind of wrap it around this card. And my initial thought was to tie a bow, but that was just too much. I was like over it at this point and I just wanted it to be done with. <laughs> so I was like, well, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap the string around and then use the adhesive on the back to hold it loosely <laughs> in place and then finish that off with a piece of washi tape just to hold it on there. So I give myself like a C- minus for construction at this point, but that's ridiculous. No one is grading us when we do this, right? No one is grading us. Um, and then I'm just going to try and sandwich this together as best I can. So using a ton of my tape runner here, and then this little number 11 from Vanessa's Bits and Bob set, um, I am going to end up stapling it to the paper and to the string so that it all stays together and doesn't fall apart in my memory decks. And then I'm going to use some additional adhesive just to make sure that it stays down on the bottom and that these two layers kind of like stay together. So there's the back side and the front side. I like how it came out. So see from the top here you can totally see like all the guts inside of it. <laughs> oh man, if I had a sewing machine that's just something that I would totally sew together. But anyway, here's a finished look at my card front and back side. Whew, we made it. As always, I've linked the free gratitude documented prompt list down in the video description below if you guys want to join along. It's never too late to get started. I hope you don't mind hearing me say that every single video. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week and I'll see you soon.